hello and welcome to a brand new video on my channel. Today we're back with even more Love Island in the Game Double Trouble. This is episode 7 so we're speeding through the series and if you haven't already do check out the playlist above that will have everything in that to do with Love Island the Game season 6 Double Trouble so far. But in the meantime if you find yourself enjoying this video please do consider clicking subscribe and like and turning on notifications so you know whenever I upload a video. But Aside from all that, let's get into this episode of Love Island The Game. We left off last time being like, are Louis and Ivy about to kiss? And I can't wait to see what happens. I still think that there's no way Louis would kiss Ivy. This episode is called Get Grafting. Someone tries to steal your partner's attention. I wonder who it could be. Welcome back to Love Island. Bombshell Roberto certainly made an impression. That one's sweeter than a pastel donata. But it seems like Robin might still be sweet on Louis. And now Ivy seems to be swinging into graft mode on him. Literally, she's on the swing seat. Let's swing back into the action. You watch as Ivy leans in closer and closer to Louis's face. Louis catches your eye and quickly dodges the incoming kiss. Hey, Robin, I was just coming to find you. Ivy turns and clocks that you've seen them. Oh, hey. Everything okay? I'm gonna ask what the hell is going on here? What is happening over here? We were just having a chat. Looked a bit more than that to me. He said it was just a chat. Hmm, right. Louis makes his way over to you. Ivy doesn't look too happy about being left behind on the swing. Shall we go for a chat, Robin? It's a beautiful night. I want to spend some more time with you. You look over to the swing seat and giving you side eye as Louis leads you away. You sit with Louis on the beanbags. Louis looks tense as he works out what to say next. So I just wanted to explain that chat with Ivy. Was it just a chat? She pulled me for a normal chat. I thought it was anyway. And I was getting ready to come back to you. Uh-huh. And then what? She leaned in to kiss me. Oh, wow. Do you know why? Beats me. I wasn't giving off flirty vibes. I hope that clears the air. I still think you might have been flirting. It's hard to believe she'd do it without any vibes from you. I think you were flirting too. It wasn't like that. It came out of the blue. I'm loyal to you. I guess we'll see. Louis smiles at you. Robin, I've been all about you since the first recoupling. I used to... I want us to be an official couple again. I'd be so stoked. Is that so, Louis? Of course. I miss you. I hope we can put tonight behind us. There's plenty more to enjoy. I know you think I was flirting, but I promise you I wasn't. My focus is on you now. He moves closer towards you. He looks down at your lips suggestively. Oh, go on, let's go for the snog. How about we grab everyone's focus? You pull yourself onto Louis's lap. His eyes almost pop out of his head. You lean in for a proper, sexy, movie star kiss. The other islanders stare at you both from across the garden. Louis holds on to you tightly as you move on top of him. Feel like I just scored a hat trick. Get a room, you two. Yes, get your man. Ivy looks less than happy. You pull Louis back to the beanbags. That was fun. I didn't take you for an exhibitionist. I like to show off sometimes. That's fine with me. Louis can't wipe the cheesy grin off his face and neither can you. Well... We should probably head to bed. Another big day tomorrow. Shame I'm not sharing a bed with you. Who knows what might happen if you play your cards right. Intriguing. Good night, you. I'm not going to be able to stop thinking about that kiss. Good night, gorgeous. Sweet dreams. You head inside towards your bed as Louis makes his way to sleep alone. You sense this may change soon, one way or the other. You wake up in the big double bed all by yourself. You glance around the room to remind yourself of the villa dynamic. Ivy and Amelia also slept alone. The others slowly wake up. Bella and Grace catch your eye. It's clear the girls want the tea from last night. Are we going to talk about the elephant in the room? Last night's near kiss between Ivy and Louis. Another person got stung by a case of poison ivy. Are you jealous, Ozzy? You can always be next. No thanks. And now Ryan is sleeping alone. He should have thought of that before cracking on with Amelia. He's got some serious grafting to do if he ever wants to come near my bed again. Stop stirring, Ozzy. Oh, look who it is. Where did you sleep? on the day beds. I'm loyal to my girl. So what happened last night? Nothing. I was asking Robin. Ivy tried to kiss Louis. Seems like Ivy decided to make her move on Louis. Bold move, Ivy. Wow, ice cold. Well, you kissed my partner, Amelia. So why shouldn't I have some fun? I'm here to find the one. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Nothing actually happened. Ivy gives you both a side eye. I can't believe all the drama. It's only day three. I can't wait to see what happens next. I'm hoping for a chilled morning. Roberto's 
phone pings. I think you just jinxed it, my friend. I've got a text. Everyone's eyes are on Roberto. Tell us literally right now. Roberto reads out the text. Islanders, tonight there'll be a shakeup that will test one of the current couples. Hashtag shakeup, hashtag breakup. What does that mean? A breakup? Do you think there'll be a recoupling? Roberto would probably get first pick as a bombshell. I think everyone's getting too worried. We don't know what's gonna happen. Anyway, I like a bit of healthy competition. As long as everyone's playing fair. You notice that the boys look more worried than they're letting on. Things just got very interesting. I wouldn't mind a chance at recoupling. She shoots Ryan a salty look. Tell us how you really feel. Don't worry, gents. It'll be a case of the best man wins. Thanks for losing so graciously already, Roberto. My guy is confident. Grace, Amelia and Bella, come and sit on the end of your bed. I can't believe it. Feel like no one's safe. I know. I don't want any of the couples to be broken up. I like a bit of mystery. Roberto makes his way over to you. Who's he coming over for? Looks like Robin. The girls step aside to give you some space. Roberto smiles as he slides next to you. Sounds like I have a big decision ahead of me. Seems that way. Lots to think about. Are you open to getting to know me? I'm not committing to anything yet. I'm not ready to commit to anything yet. Lots has happened already. No need to make your mind up yet. I'm not going anywhere, Robin. And I like a challenge. Roberto saunters away and the girls rush back over to you. Girls, the day has just got serious. Legit. We need to plan our looks. Yeah, these looks need to go hard. Total fire. One of us could be left single. That's so risky. Let's go get dressed then. You all hurry towards the dressing room. The girls look through their options for the perfect look. What are we thinking, girls? I'm stressed. We need something vibey. I want all my girls looking 10 out of 10. We always do. I'm excited to show Roberto what he's missing. You catch Ivy's eye as she eyes up a sexy dress option. Do you have something to say, Robin? I'm gonna ask Ivy what really happened last night. Yeah, I do actually. What happened between you and Louis last night? I wanted to hear it from you. Nothing actually happened, but maybe if you hadn't interrupted. What does that mean? I guess we'll see. Ivy picks out her outfits. Good luck, girls. I'm off to turn one particularly sexy Portuguese head. Ivy struts out of the room. We need to watch that one. That's it then, I'm going extra AF. Love it, count me in. Robin, I think you should go in hard. Ivy's got her graft on, you need to go on bigger. Yes, Roberto won't be able to think about anything else. Or maybe you want to impress someone else. Or maybe you want to look fire for yourself. Try something on, Robin. Okay, so it didn't put us in a styled outfit today. You know what, I'm kind of thinking we go for this because it's very Barbie and I feel like we should honor Barbie. I might keep our current shoes though and go for something like this. I think we go for this look. This is stunning. I am feeling myself in this. You look hot, Robin. Watch out, boys. It's giving supermodel. I can't wait to see the boys' faces. Bella and Grace choose their outfits and head on out. Amelia comes over to you. Hey, Robin. I can't believe this twist today. So I know you've been chatting to Roberto and went on the date, but I want you to know I'm interested in him. What does that mean? I want to get to know him. I'm single right now, but I'm here to find the one. I stepped back from Louis even though I was coupled up with him. I wanted to give you your moment. Now it feels like my time to get to know him more. Mind if I go for it with him? Roberto or Louis? Because they're very different answers. Go for it. Why not? I think everyone deserves a fair shot at finding love. You should get to know him. Thank you, Robin. Sisters need to stick together. 100%. Grace rushes back into the dressing room. Robin, you aren't going to believe what Louis is up to. Tell me. Come and see. You follow Grace outside to find out what's going on. You make your way to the kitchen. Louis is busy doing something with his back turned. He hears you and spins around. Good morning, Stunner. Good morning. I've got a surprise for you. What is it? Follow me. Louis covers your eyes with his hands and takes you over to the kitchen stools. Removing his hands, he reveals a beautifully presented chocolate cake. My favourite cake! I wanted it to be perfect for you. <gasps> Wait, didn't we have this conversation a little while ago where we were like, oh, what would we want for breakfast? And we were like, I don't know, a birthday cake? Is Louis the perfect man? Excuse me, Louis. Dream man material right here. Just wait until it's your actual birthday. Grace passes by and notices the cake. Robin, it's your birthday? Why didn't you say anything? We need to celebrate. <gasps> that means it's Amelia's birthday too. Two birthdays. We need decorations. Presents. Grace goes running off towards the villa in a wild panic. You and Louis look at each other and laugh. I'm sure she'll figure it out when she bumps into Amelia. Ready to dig in, Robin? <laughs> yes, please. Obviously, since you went through all the effort. 
I aim to please. The two of you tuck into the mountain of food. This is amazing. I know there's a lot going on today, big choices to make. I just wanted to remind you what you're missing, Robin. I'd happily make you breakfast every morning, in beds even. I know we've talked a lot about last night with Ivy, but I just wanted to say that honestly, it was nothing. I feel like an idiot for putting myself in that situation. You do? Yeah, if you still have any doubts, I'm not gonna stop building that trust back up. Promise. You hear laughter coming from one of the girls. You hear another laugh, unmistakably Roberto's. Sounds like Roberto's already at it. Well, I guess I should see what everyone's up to. Thanks for breakfast. You leave Louis with his food while you head off to investigate the laughter. Okay, everyone. So we're looking around the villa again. Um, oh, look, they've changed it from Will. So it's now Ozzy and Bella. That's very cool. Let's start with talking to... We have to talk to everyone. Let's go have it out with Ivy first. Ivy's looking pleased as punch as you go over. You see Roberto walking away. Hey, Ivy. Oh, hi. Were you just chatting to Roberto? Yeah, that boy knows how to graft. He was grafting. Hard. Are you interested in him? I'm gonna say yes, because then hopefully the game will start encouraging Ivy to go after him. I am very interested in him. And I think he's interested in me too. So I won't be backing down easy. I love that confidence. Even if it is misplaced. Guess we'll find out. He's taking all of my boxes. Including ones I didn't even realise I had. I can tell he's into me. You think so? I'm confident he'll couple up with me the first chance he gets. And that could be sooner than we think. Ivy looks over at Ryan who's looking very sorry for himself in the kitchen. She raises her voice so he can hear. I wouldn't be surprised if I've got a new partner by tonight. I can't wait to be in bed next to him. You're not messing around, are you? If he can mess around, then so can I. Ryan runs over with some freshly made pancakes. Hey, babe, I made you some pancakes. Your fave. Aw, thank you. They look so good. One thing's missing, though. What is it? Maple syrup. Can you get me some, please? Sure thing. Ryan scurries off with those delicious looking pancakes. There's no maple syrup here. So why did you send him to get some? He's got serious making up to do. Gotta make him jump through some hoops. Boy, he's not getting off that easy. Ivy suddenly gets a mischievous look in her eye. Roberto told me something else. The juiciest gas. What was it? His ultimate fantasy. Oh, wow. You will not believe it. He wants to get wet and wild in the cabin of a sailboat with the girl dressed in a sexy sailor's outfit. Ahoy, Captain. Not in the cockpit. I'm sure he did that day one as a pilot. I'd sail away with him any day. You both hear Roberto laughing from somewhere in the villa. Who's he talking to now? I'm gonna go and see. You leave to see what else is going on. Time to speak to Grace. Roberto is just leaving as you walk up to Grace. Hi, babe. Hey! Sorry I panicked earlier about the birthday cake. I just love birthdays and I was just worried because we hadn't done anything. Obs Amelia kept up the charade for a while. Do you let me make these three party hats before she confessed? It wasn't even your birthday. Amazing. Anyway, what's up? I saw you chatting with Roberto. I think he was trying to crack on. He asked if I was interested in him. Wow, what did you say? I put him in the friend zone. Me and Ozzy are going strong. The feels are real. So you like him then? I really like him, Robin. I think he has the potential to be the one. Got some major tea concerning Roberto though. He was talking about Ivy quite a lot. What was he saying? Nothing super serious. She's definitely caught some of his attention. But I don't think he's putting all of his eggs in one basket yet. He was talking about you too. No way. He said he's well up for the challenge of winning you over. He's confident he will. What's more, he says you're worth it. And you are worth it, babes. He also told me a hilarious story. About what? His most embarrassing moment. Spill the tea. One time he was flying one of those skywriting planes. The ones where you can write words with smoke as you fly around. Well, he tried to draw a romantic picture in the sky for an X. What was it? It was meant to be a heart, but it ended up looking like something else. Like what? Something more phallic. Oh, that. Just hang in there in the sky. You and Grace both laugh. You should totally wind him up about it if you go on another date. Speaking of dates, do you want to know what he said about yours? I'll chance it without the scoop. I'll pass. Your choice. I guess we'll find out more later anyway. I'm going to go find Ozzy. If you're looking for Roberto, he's out here chatting somewhere. You head off to chat to the others. So we've got Bella and Amelia. I think we're going to get Amelia out of the way. Let's go and talk to Amelia. You find Amelia chilling on the daybeds, looking pleased with herself. Hey, what a lovely day. I've just been chatting to Roberto. Anything to report? I'm really into him. 
He and Andy's giving off a flirty vibe. I think he's into me too. What did he say to you? He suggested he wouldn't mind coupling up. I'd be more than happy. He also told me his number one ambition. And it's exactly the same as me. A round the world trip. Exactly, all in. With the love of his life, we could be such a good match. I'm worried it's too good a match. Too good to be true. Do you think he likes me as much as I like him? He sounds into you. Are you kidding? He sounds so into you. And why wouldn't he be? Thank you, Robin. That makes me feel a lot better. I want this recoupling to just happen already. It won't be long now. Right, anyway, Amelia, I'll leave you to it. See you later. As you leave Amelia, you find yourself wondering where Roberto's head's at. So it's just Bella to speak to next. You see Roberto chatting with Bella near the pool. As they finish, you rush over. Hey, Robin. Hey, uh, were you just talking to Roberto? Yeah, he was putting the graft in. Was he? Yeah, that boy's a total flirt. What are you thinking about him? He's definitely H-O-T hot. But like, maybe so hot it's boring. What does that mean? Like, he's too hot. He's undeniably good looking. I like someone who's a bit less traditionally fit, if you know what I mean. He seems fun though. And there's no denying the sex factor. It's defo not a hard no. Oh, and I learned a good fun fact about him. What is it? He's a proper foodie. He knows his grub. Can you guess what his favour is? Something super bougie like caviar? He seems like a man with a taste for the finer things. Maybe caviar? That's a good guess. He is a bougie guy. Drum roll. It's homemade burgers. He used to make them with his dad. So he's a real family man then. Totally, it's so cute. I love it when boys are tight with their fam. Are you gonna go for him? I think I'm still looking for the perfect guy. Or gal. You look amazing today, by the way. So fire. It's a shame the boys are getting all that attention. Why do you say that? Maybe I'd like some of that attention too. I'd still like to keep getting to know you better. Would you? I think we have a flirty vibe. Funny you should say that. I wouldn't mind getting attention from you too. Oh really? I'll give you attention whenever you want it. Bella blows you a kiss. You both hear some OTT flirting happening. Sounds like Roberto. That boy never rests. We should go and find out any goss. You leave Bella to see what else Roberto has been up to. You find Roberto walking across the lawn. You find Roberto walking across the lawn. Good to see you Robin. How's your day going? It's a beautiful day, can't complain. And I've certainly got to know everyone. Where's your head at about the recoupling? I'm excited. I've got lots to think about. All the girls in here are so beautiful. So you're keeping your options open? Of course. Every girl brings something different to the table. Ivy is super feisty, she knows what she wants. Bella would be the best plus one for parties. Grace is super funny and loyal. Amelia loves to travel and so do I. And you, Robin, you seem like the total package. Anything could happen. You see Amelia approaching. She gestures at Roberto with her eyes. Looks like you're needed. I'll catch up later. That looked like a deep chat. So what do you think? Is Roberto keeping his options open? Seems like he's open to everyone. Honestly, it looks like he's wide open right now. He seems to really like everyone. Hmm. I hope he likes me just that little bit more. The text tone pings. I've got a text. It's chaos in the garden as all the girls rush over to Roberto. Here we go. I've got a good feeling about this. Hurry up with the suspense, Roberto. Yeah, my heart can't take it. The boys arrive closely behind, nerves all round. Roberto reads out the text. Islanders, the public have been voting for their favourite girl. The girl with the fewest votes will be dumped from the villa tonight. Hashtag so long, hashtag who's the fave. Oh my days. What on earth? None of us expected this. No one is safe. Everyone looks around in shock as the news sinks in. One of the girls will be awkwardly moving on home tonight after their public votes for their favourite. But will Robin be feeling pumped or getting dumped? Find out next time on Love Island. I feel like they can't just leave it there. I know that that's what they do and that's how they get people involved and interested, but oh my goodness, no, I refuse. I need to know more right now. Let me know what your thoughts are down in the comments below. Are you into Roberto? Do you prefer one of the other guys? Let me know who your dream preference is in the comments below. If you haven't already, please do give this video a like, subscribe to see more. Don't forget to turn on notifications so you get notified every single time I go live and I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.